Hi, in this video I want to show how to use new alerts, how you can set up it and how to send a mail notification. So before we start I will show the endpoints that we will use. So this endpoint has two fields, humidity and temperature in the metadata and we will create a load that will check the temperature value and if it's more than 20 it should send a mail notification about this. So let's go and create our first alert. To do this, we will go to alert settings, hit create alert, and start to fill out the form. The form consists from uh, different steps that we will go one by one that can help us to create our alert. So the first thing is I will create name. And the next step is to specify the monitoring settings. So we need to specify the application that we will use to check the data. And optionally we can use all endpoints or we can specify some specific endpoints that we want to track. I will choose all endpoints. And the next step is to perform the check. So check can be scheduled, so we can specify the time interval when it should go, or it can be trigger it when metadata was changed or time series changed. Now I will select metadata change and specify my condition. So the condition can be the visual representation or it can be a script that you can write. I will use the visual representation and start by specifying the values that I want to get. So I can choose between metadata value, last time series value, average marks mean. I will get the metadata value and specify my key, which is temperature. So here I can see the preview of my value. If I have more devices, I can switch between devices and see this value here. So I will say that this value is number. And if I will check it, that if it's greater than 20, I will get the alert. Okay. So here optionally I can add another rule with end and or and specify more values if needed. So I will just leave it as it is. And in case if I want to check how this expression will look like, I can click on show expression and see the actual expression that will be generated for me. So the next I will create the alert type. Let's say it will be called temperature demo. I will leave severity level with this. And in case of message it can be a static string like this. Or we can add some dynamic values, for example, to get the color temperature that was reported. So to do this, I will go to script. I have some examples here, so let me just copy paste it. And I will replace this part with the key from my expression here. Okay. Now I can send additional action. So for example, it can be send a mail. So in this case, uh, I will get the message about this alert to my email. So here I will specify the sender. And I will specify the recipient. some subject and we are good to go. In case if you want to send different mail messages or different actions on the different states of a lot, we can regulate it here. So currently this email action will be sent when a lot activated and when a lot resolved. 
we can switch it by turning off, turning on these options. So now I will just leave it on both cases. So let's go and hit create. Okay, so we can see that our alert is active. So let's go to overview. Here I have some previous alerts. So to trigger our alert, we will need to update the metadata value. And we will see our alert with type temperature demo right here. So to do this, I will go and open my device. We'll go to that publish tab. Hit on HTTP, specify my token. And select partial metadata update. So let's go and increase our temperature to 30 and send request. Okay, so as we can see, our alert was created and we can see the activate reason message, which is uh, where our current temperature that we have, all the times when it was triggered and other things and the acknowledgement status. So let's go and simulate the alert resolution. So let's say that we specify our temperature back to 19 and as we can see now it gets resolved. Let's go and try to increase temperature again. We can see that it's now activated again and the temperature was changed to 32. Also, we can open the logs history and see what was happening with this. And let's go and check the previous alert. So we can we can see the time when it was created, the time when it was resolved. So I hope it helps to get an idea how you can set up a lot. Thank you.